This player is about to get the chance that millions only dream of. The chance to see if he's got what it... He's made it to the show. It's one of the most intriguing times of the year for everyone around baseball. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the New York Mets going up against the Kansas City Royals. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Singy, one of the stories in this one is a highly anticipated Major League debut, and all eyes will be on him as he gets the start on the mound. I love watching pitching debuts at this level because there's no waiting around to see the rookie in action. You get thrown right into the deep end of the major league pool. He's center stage from the first inning on. So like you said, Boog, there's no hiding at all. There's a ton of excitement about this kid's future, and he's about to face the best lineup of his life. So I'm excited to see how he attacks it. And a pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Luis Guillorme in the box now as he leaves that one up high. One run batted in yesterday, their only run of the game. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but ultimately this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And he walked him. Take your base. Well, the bat pretty much taken out of his hands there. Yeah, he was patient. He didn't chase and go outside of uh, his strike zone. So, you know, you have to tip your cap because you ultimately know that the guy behind you is going to have an opportunity to get it done. And that's what you got to do. Pass the baton sometimes and trust your teammates. Oh, one down. Ball. One, one. This ground ball. Turn two for you right here. Line drive. And out number one on the grab. Here's Pete Alonso, right now with more RBIs than anyone in the National League. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Marte on second. Guillaume at first, one gone. Next pitch misses, 2-0. and oh. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two-ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, one out. Oh. And a strike. Two, two. Bounce to the left side, to second for one. Over to first, safe. Here's Brandon Nimmo. First offering misses badly for ball one. That clips a corner. That's the third, Dozier. They take the force out. That's out number three. 
All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. First pitch, just misses. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Brett Beatty, the next to hit, takes ball one. Sterling, a big part of the storyline for us today. He's making his debut and hoping to carve out a valuable role in the mound with this ball club. Sterling makes the catch and there's one gone at this point it doesn't matter if you're a first rounder or an undrafted free agent all that matters once you reach this level is producing can you help your team get better it's a big question that said you don't want to put too much pressure on your debut I hope he's taking time to enjoy this experience today you'll one and that clips the inside corner Got him. And there's two away. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Oh, Hoog, no, I think they can. It. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. Yeah, yeah. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, go, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Lindor leads off first with two down to the inning. Got him looking. Third out. On to the third inning. Here's Starling Marte. Sterling back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Marte, a former All-Star. 34-year-old vet, and he's been wearing out home plate lately. He scored 10 times in the last 10 games. 1-1 now. And a curve is down and in. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Hit hard. That gets through. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. Popped in the air, left side. Pulls it in for the out. And now here's Jeff McNeil. He's 0 for 1. Here we go, boys. First pitch Ball. doesn't find the zone. McNeil in his sixth season, hitting third in the lineup. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. On a second, yep. they get one double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Back here in Kansas City, out of the fourth. Here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonso misses Whoa. outside, 1-0. and A oh. couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonso. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, oh. Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. Connect on the curveball struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Nimmo takes low second trip to the plate in this one. Back up the... Oh, that got him! No chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. One gone runner at first. Here's Francisco Lindor. Ball one, no strikes. Nimmo leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Ball. 
Swing and a miss. That he really sells the changeup with that arm action. One down. One down. In the air, left field. Reyes heading to the alley. Ball, 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 and there's ball. two down. So now here's the Mets DH. Brett Beatty. First time up was a pop out. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. In the air, center field. He's got it. And that is out number three. Welcome back. Omar Narvaez at the plate. The pitch. Strike one. Oh, wow. Well, these Mets need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball oh, gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Left hand hitter waits. Bows it back with two strikes. And the righty deals. To the right side, Massey. Tosses to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Starling Marte up to hit. First oh, offering, yeah. misses the mark. And it's one and one. He's been one going goal. after one these guys strike. consistently, and as a result, He's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Next one is off the plate. And a count two and one. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and fires. On the ground. Oh, what a stop. Fires to first. And he'll be safe at first. Man at first with one gone. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering is down low. Two and one. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. 3-1 now. Escobar checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. McNeil batting with one down takes a strike here's an opportunity if you're going to get back in this game you have to take advantage of this situation no, this shot. feels like their chance Marte at second Escobar over at first with one away the one one is fouled off next okay. offering upstairs two ball two strikes Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Next offering Ball. upstairs. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Rio. 
And there's the strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. And now it's filled up.
Two down now. And he deals. And that'll oh, load the bases. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. And first offering is fouled off. Right, here we go. Plays at one now. And Four that's one. downstairs and outside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can Walter. find the right mechanics and then Two repeat balls. them. One strike. The two one. That misses oh. off the outside edge. Three one. Fouled off. He was late. Three two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. At the belt and fires. That is ball four, and that'll bring home a run. He's really gotten himself into a mess out there, and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. Lindor in the box now. No balls in a strike. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Tried to check his swing there. Appealed a third. He did not go around. The 2-1. Fly ball center field. Grabs it on the run. And the inning is over. So a run on no. New pitcher in the game for the Royals. And this one ends with a final score. Oh, congratulations. He just picked up his first major league win. 1985 All-Star Ron Darling had plenty of them. 136 to be exact. Ron, you're as humble as they come, but I know your first big league win meant a lot to you. What do you remember about it? Well, I remember in 1983, I was one of those September call-ups, which means you're going to get five.